The Princess of Wales is now apologizing over a photo controversy. So the first picture of Catherine, Princess of Wales, since her abdominal surgery has been pulled by major news agencies. This is the picture right now over concerns that it's been manipulated. A statement today from the princess uh, reads, uh, and it's not there. Oh, there it is. Like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. So let's get into it now with CTV Royal commentator Afia Hagen. Afia, what the heck is going on here and what's the reaction been like mm -hmm. in London and England today? The reaction has been, what the heck is going on? So yesterday we did have that first picture of Kate with the children released for Mother's Day. And everyone was like, this is a beautiful photograph. Isn't it nice to see her with the kids? But upon further analysis, it revealed that there was some real issues with this picture. And that led to five major uh, picture agencies. So you had PA here in the UK, AP, AFP, Getty and Reuters all pulling this picture because of concerns that it had been manipulated at source. And that appears to be what has happened. So I've actually got some analysis of the metadata of the picture. And it hmm. seems that it was edited twice on Adobe Photoshop on an Apple Mac twice, first at 9.54 p.m. on Friday, 8th of March, and then again on Saturday morning, Saturday 9th of March at 9.39 a.m. And we do know that it was taken on a Canon 500 milliliter lens. So the metadata shows us that yes, it has been edited on Adobe Photoshop twice. What we still don't know is when this picture was taken, Prince William says that he's the one that took the picture, but we don't know if this is a recent picture. We don't know if it was taken this mm -hmm. week, last week, last year, last month. That's what we don't know. And we don't know why it was edited. Perhaps it was that she was trying to get the best shots of the children. So she took, you know, Charlotte from this picture and Lou from this picture and put them all together. So in fact, you know, this statement, like the picture yesterday, again, throws up more questions Mm -hmm. Yeah, at this point, if you, it seems like, you know, what Kate needs to do to kind of quell the controversy is uh, put out a video message, you know, kind of like a proof of life thing Almost, saying, yeah. hey, I'm OK. This is the present day, yada, yada. But she's not doing that. So do you have any indication why uh, she is still trying to keep things under wraps, it seems? I mean, it's very different than what we've been seeing with the transparency with King Charles III and his openness about how he's recovering. And you're absolutely right. She is conspicuous by her absence because we have seen the king going for treatment, uh, you know, meeting with Rishi Sunak, meeting with Jeremy Hunt last week. Uh, you know, he's going to put a video message for Commonwealth Day. And Commonwealth Day is a huge day. You know, I thought we'd be talking about that today. Uh -huh. And that's a, it's a really significant day. It's a huge day for the royal family. But we have seen the king out and about. And I absolutely agree with you. The only way that Kensington Palace can quell these rumours is if we actually see Kate perhaps holding a newspaper with today's date and saying, I'm okay, mm -hmm. here I am, sorry for any confusion caused. But actually, she shouldn't have to do that. She shouldn't have to take these steps because Kensington Palace and the PR and comms team within Kensington Palace should be doing a better job than this. You know, someone should have spotted before this went out that perhaps the photoshopping wasn't the best. No offense to Princess Catherine at all, mm -hmm. but someone should have spotted that people will ask questions about where's her wedding ring, about mm -hmm. the photoshopping, mm -hmm. and should perhaps have gently said, I'm not sure that this is the best idea if we put out this picture with the tweaks, because we're already in a situation where so many people are talking about you, talking about your surgery, talking about where are you, talking about that paparazzi picture last mm -hmm. Monday. It only pours fuel onto a very big fire. Mm -hmm. So this picture, like I said, just throws up more questions than answers. Yeah, you said last week the PR sort of team with Kate and the and the royal family uh, were sort of dropping the ball, and that trend continues. Sophia Hagen, this is likely not the last conversation we'll have about this, so we'll look forward <laughs> to the next time. Thanks so much. Thank you.